Hi there, Mark Anderson at ICT Evangelist here. Um, just wanted to talk about an app I found recently uh, by 3M, the company that made post-it notes. Um, many people um, have got tech uh, enhanced classrooms uh, where students will have their own device either via BYOD or uh, bring your own device or, or, or through a one-to-one -one scheme in your, in your school. Um, but sometimes uh, you haven't got access to that or if you have got access to that you've chosen to do things slightly differently so rather than getting students to record their thoughts using um, post-its or virtual post-its on something like Lino It or Padlet you actually use actual post-its and that's fine you know analog is often uh, as good as um, digital um, and uh, so you, know, you choose to use post-its instead and that's fine with that in mind um, what this app can do is make these uh, post-its become digital so you can easily share them, pass them on to others, so forth and so on. So this little screencast is going to show you how you can go about doing that. So you, you write your post-it out, as you can see me doing here. And then um, what you do is, as you would in the classroom, you pop them up on the wall, like so. And there's your photo. And... Um, with the app, and that's the icon there, you'll find the icon uh, when you search for post it on the app store. Okay, so uh, install the app and what have you. And what you do is um, you'll just um, take a photograph uh, or get your camera on in, within the app and you press the little button uh, down the bottom here, okay, the, with the uh, orange outline. And you press and hold it for uh, two seconds or so. And when you do that, the app will pick up. The different post-its and you'll see that where, where it's picked them up and um, because the green line around the outside of the post-it and, and the tick to say that it's read it and once you've done that you can just uh, simply um, tap on create board at the bottom if it's not working quite right you can retake the image if you want to um, and once you've done that i give your board a name okay so i'll give mine the uh, cleverly titled board name like so and uh, just whack done down at the bottom and then what you do is um, it takes you through to a board with your actual post-its on it. And that's great in and of itself. Um, but what else can you do? Well, um, if you tap onto where it says board name on the actual board, okay, you can then um, grab your board and you can use the icons at the top. Um, can you see the sort of Tetris type blocks and what have you? You can tap on those to then arrange your post-its in a nice lined up order. Okay, you can move them around and you can rename your board and all those sorts of things as well, which is absolutely you know, very nice and what have you. Um, you can do them in different orders like so, or change it there. You can zoom in on them. And if you really want to see it, uh, then you can tap on each of the post-its then and um, see them nice and large, like so. So you can really see what has been written and what has been shared. Um, and at the end you can then share it in lots of different ways um, either to your camera roll or via email or what have you using the usual share icon that you see in the top right hand corner of your screen so that's it, that's the post-its app nice and simple uh, and a great way of recording all those lovely little bits of learning those little nuggets that happen in your classroom so you don't need lots of technology to use a Padlet or anything like that you could just use analog post-its whack them up on the wall and then photograph them at the end and have a really good record of all the comments and learning elements that have happened in your class. Thanks for listening. My name is Mark Anderson at ICT Evangelist and you can find me on my blog at www.ictevangelist.com. Thanks.